same time, uh, with it being detrimental to people as well, um, I think it can like hurt. <laughs> Yase mini anyos le i tu nombre nadie quiere pensar. Que hay algo en la nada. This is my outfit today. I really love it. Very simple, very chic. Having a little arts and crafts moment today. I'm just gonna cut out pretty pictures from this magazine my grandma gave me from 2003. Because it's fun and spring is about to be sprung. I'm so excited to try this bread I got. It's a chocolate chip banana. But I'm gonna try it. I just wanted to talk about my day and my life. I'm so excited. A week from today is the Strokes concert, which, if you know, I fucking love the Strokes. And I bought these tickets in October. They were for New Year's, but they got rescheduled because COVID was really bad. And not only did it get rescheduled with Mac DeMarco opening. Now, if you know me, you know I love, I've loved Mac DeMarco way longer than I've loved The Strokes. Um, I started, oh my God, Mac DeMarco is all I listened to in high school. And parts of middle school i just love i just love him and i've wanted to see him live for so so long and the fact that i didn't even buy the tickets to see him and now i'm just like it's gonna be a goddamn show. it is gonna be a show of my life things are changing i have one more month of living in this room kind of scary because i'm gonna be getting an apartment soon I'm moving out for the first time in my life um which is all i've wanted but it's really scary because my mom is moving to Florida, so yeah, I don't know how to feel about it because the farthest I've ever been from New Haven is Boston. That's crazy. Um, not much of a world traveler, but I kind of hate my life here for the past couple weeks because I just hate this school and this environment a lot. Not because Southern sucks, but it's just not for me at all. Just like the people here, it's not, it's not for me, no. I need to get out of here. But there's nothing I could do because I can't afford anything else, which really rocks. I don't know, it's just a very weird feeling being at this age because I'm constantly moving in, moving out nothing's really that permanent since i got into college i haven't stayed in one place for longer than like five months yeah also look how pretty this is today was a really chill day i went downtown oh my god this picture is so pretty i went downtown to get a credit card from my bank because i need a credit score that's some real adulting stuff right there i don't know if you guys can handle that <laughs> but apparently I have to like get approved or something for it. I don't know, but I felt really proud of that. So I went to get a matcha and that bread to treat myself. Um, and then I went back to the library to study. I also had a class before that, my sex and philosophy class. So I'm really learning a lot. Um, yeah, oh my God, this picture is so pretty. First of all, this is the other one. Look at it, there's like a butterfly. It's pretty. Concerts are kind of the only thing keeping me going. I saw Tame Impala a couple weeks ago and it was the best show of my whole life. <laughs> So good. 
It was so, so. <laughs> I love Kevin Parker so freaking much. The, the Slow Rush album, it's not new. It came out like two years ago. But it is the best album ever. Like, he just describes everything so well. <laughs> everything that I'm feeling. And I feel like people don't talk about it enough. Getting old, it, like, sucks. And I guess I'm not that old, but like, it's scary. And no one ever talks about it, but they really should. They really should. And he does, so thank you. But it was just such an experience. Oh my god, it was so good. It, I recommend seeing I mean, obviously, everyone always talks about Kim Ball Live, but like, you just gotta go see him. You just gotta. And I have, oh my god. So next week is gonna be a whole thing. And Haler on Monday, The Strokes and Mac DeMarco on Wednesday, and then Dominic Fike on Friday. <laughs> then I'm seeing, of course, Laundry Day a couple weeks after that. I've got to see my boys, of course, and my girls. Don't forget where you came from. I'm really jealous of all of the YouTubers. Their lives just look so simple and pretty. And I wish my life was like that. I did get a job and that helped a lot with staying busy. I try to do stuff like this to take my mind off of how lonely it is. I should probably do my homework. That might help to keep myself busy. <sighs> but that's what sucks about going to this kind of school. Why would I do my homework for a class that I don't even like? Like, I don't know. It makes something that you love so boring. Like film. I just love film so much, but at a state school, it's very like, oh, we're gonna do the news now. I don't wanna do that. I don't know if that's selfish because it's still, let's cut this out. It's still an education, but. I'm gonna eat my salad now and watch Tick Tick Boom. I started Tick Tick Boom the other day. Oh my God, it's so good. I'm halfway through. So good. People said it was good, but it's good. First of all, they have a song about swimming. Hello, ex-swimmer here. Second of all, they have a song about a Sunday brunch rush. Oh my God. So true. So true. Also, very, very quickly. Actually, it probably won't be very quickly, but I'm gonna say very quickly. I'm normally not a reader. I'm so bad at reading. If you know me, I don't like reading. I mean, I wish I did, but I don't. But I started reading this. Because I was learning about Simone de Bois in my philosophy class, and I was like, who is this girl? Like, I love every single thing that she's saying. And I finished, so there's like three different stories in it, and I just finished the first one, The Age of Discretion. And it's so good. It is so good. It like reminds me of the Tammy Paula album, because it's just about like getting old and like how that affects yourself and your relationships and your view of the world but it's so good okay that's it can't wait to see what he does next what do you mean i'm uh, just gonna do that quick about scripture i always told you it was a tough sell it's too arty for broadway God, they're so good. Vlogging. Okay, so Watch Adrian's next vlog, or else you will be cursed times 3,000. Yes. <laughs> Just got done with dinner at con. Feeling refreshed and rejuvenated. Oh. Girl, you should have punched Shit. him. Okay, queen. Sometimes violence was you, was is the you, answer. Hashtag Will Smith. Were you asking? <laughs> Wait till you walk with everything. Damn, she oh, got shoot. fatty. Oh my god, there's a ghost. It's Evelyn. Outfit? How do you feel? So we ninja cunt today. And our rooms are our tents. We make in our home, we have blankets, there's fires. Welcome to B Mansion. It's where the bitches be at. 
I was listening to my outfit today. I got this from my grandma. This is my jacket that I splurged on. These are my mom jean pants for my mom. Oh my gosh, your ass looks so fat. Look, they have a British flag for British fans. Strokes. No. And then, uh, I hate, actually, I don't have anything to say. And then this is, um, that's my best friend, Aaron. Oh my god. Bestie is a gift. And then, my salad. Yum. And, and then, the what mask. did you put on your salad? Cucumbers, broccoli, and carrots. She's healthy. Whoa. So, wait. POV, you're me walking in from a hard day of work. <laughs> Why are you so quiet? I'm looking for a movie. Wait, is this your phone? Yeah. Is it new? Mm -hmm. <gasps> Ready, guys? The night has begun. And I'm going to do a transition to put on my pajamas. Ready? Oh, I want to see it. We should watch this. Oh my god, how did I get changed so fast? It's crazy. Yeah, you may never know. And in such cute pajamas too. Who am I trying to impress? We'll never know. Oh. 